This is the first mod you need to do to your Jeep after throwing a set of big tires on your Jeep. <laughs> How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about why you should trust um, your Jeep XJ, JK, or JL, or anything with a Dana 30 straight axle, especially the newer JKs and JLs. You definitely want to do this mod after you put 35 and up tires on it, because if not, your axle is bound to break, split, crack, whatever it may be. Um, a lot of people put sleeves in it, which mine has sleeves in it, but um, Sleeves ain't gonna keep it from breaking or cracking. Um, this is why you need a truss. So as you can see, I got a Dana 30 and um, I have a whole video on a Dana 30 rebuild. Um, you can go back and check it out. I'll leave it right here on top of the screen. So you can click on it. It shows you how to rebuild it, bushings, it's sleeved, it's trussed and everything like that. And also when you're newer JKs and JLs, these knuckles on top are super soft also have brackets to weld on the bottom and top of these and what this does is it strengthens it up so it keeps it from bending and snapping basically that's all the tubes really do um, is keep it from bending this one already has tubes in it like i said i have a whole install video on all this stuff on a dana 30 so i'll leave the link in the description also but you definitely want to beef it up i am going to be beefing up the lower control arm mounts also and the track bar mount in the future but i'm running pretty big tires and i want to make sure this dana 30 ain't going to snap on the trail because here lately it's been happening a lot with the jk so i'm making sure that everything is going to mock up and you know strengthen everything up especially your upper control arm mount it welds right to it so it's pretty nice i like it and uh honestly you should trust your Dana 30 also. As you can see, I got the truss on. Got it all shined up and painted black. You can get C gussets. I got the whole kit for the JK at Rough Country for like 127 bucks. It comes with the truss and the upper and lower C gussets. But uh, turned out really, really well. I'm impressed with it. It's pretty durable and uh, She'll be strong enough to handle 35s and 37s. So the first thing you want to do is ask yourself, do you really need a truss? What size tires are you running? Is it worth it for you to spend the money on a truss for your Jeep? Honestly, if you're running 33s, I wouldn't even mess with, you know, putting gussets on the Cs and uh, putting a truss on. But if you're planning on running 35s and 37s and up, I do recommend trussing the Dana 30 and the 44 that comes in the Wranglers because they're not very durable as you can see they've split they've snapped they've cracked they've done all kinds of things and that's why I went ahead and put on a truss on mine even on the Cherokee that I have I put a truss on it the older Cherokees the tubes are a lot thicker did sleeve and truss it um, because what it does the sleeve keeps it from bending and the truss keeps it from bending also and cracking and busting off and it keeps the tube from spinning now um a lot of people say it's overkill uh you need to you know get one tons don't mess with it honestly i'm not planning on running one tons these do just fine um like i said with a little bit of work um they turn out really really well and re-geared uh, 488s and they last a good while with you know some lockers or slip lockers in there um i'm running 35s but i'm running 12 ply tires and i'm running steel steel rims so that's a lot of leverage on this axle and that's why i went ahead and trust it and put the c gussets on the this really sturdies it up i can tell a difference already just by hitting stuff that it's a lot sturdier and it will last for a while so you need to ask yourself do you need a truss um like i said if you're running big tires like 35s and up i recommend getting a truss on a dana 30 and the 44 honestly um, it'll keep things from spinning, bowing and, and cracking and busting. It's super easy. It's a cheap mod to do. Like I said, rough country. I bought this one at rough country for the JK. Um, and it was only $127. You can get stuff for the XJ on different sites for like 150, a full truss and everything like that. The sleeves that I got were only 50 bucks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to talk about, should you trust your Jeep? Uh, should you, uh, put gussets on the axle and absolutely you should if you're running big tires i recommend throwing on a truss 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm Cherokee Ronnie, and stay dirty, my friends.